pregnancy. Now, again, if you deliver this lecture three years back, we say methylidopa is the drug of choice. Now, it's now just out of the market. I've asked several people, I've searched uh, different literature. We don't know. Suddenly, it's out. And there is side effect. It causes placenta and con can cause neonatal hypertension, but that beta blocker can cause. But still, we are using some beta blockers. But one drug is contraindicated. So somebody is coming for preconception counseling. You have to ask them to stop this drug. And change them be even before they're conceiving to something else like labetalol or nifrodipin or at least amlodipine. But while they are developing gestational hypertension, definitely give labetalol as a first line, nifrodipin as a second line. Metoprolol, amlodipin, those drugs can be given, but if it is worse than this, it is better to uh, get the patient admitted and there are a lot of issues with preeclampsia, eclampsia, and control of blood pressure. Beta blockers, if the patients have, that can cause fetal hypoglycemia and bradycardia. We have to be careful. Methyl dopa previously, when it was given and suddenly withdrawal after uh, delivery, I, I remember that a lot of calls I get from uh, my gynecology friends that Odrija, the blood pressure is very high after stopping this drug, what to do? Now we have to, uh, this kind of centrally active drugs has to be withdrawn very slowly, not on one day. And you have to monitor very closely. And if the patient is breastfeeding something, not breastfeeding something, you can change them to their original drugs. You can give uh, this AC inhibitor, but not the A2 receptor blocker in a patient who is lactating. So remember that.